Okay class, today we're in section 1.7, represent functions as rules and tables. Represent functions as rules and tables. Before, you wrote algebraic expressions and equations. Now, you will represent functions as rules and as tables. Key vocabulary, function, domain, range, independent variable, and dependent variable. When you pump gas, the total cost depends on the number of gallons pumped. The total cost is a function of the number of gallons pumped. A function consists of a set called the domain containing numbers called inputs and a set called the range containing numbers called outputs. So domain would be your x values. Input also means x values. Range would be your y values also called outputs. So once again range and outputs means the y values. Domain and input relate to the x values. A pairing of inputs with outputs such as each input is paired with exactly one output. A pairing of inputs with outputs such that each input is paired with exactly one output. Example 1 Identify the domain and range of a function. The input-output table shows the cost of various amounts of regular unleaded gas from the same pump. Identify the domain and the range of the function. Input gallons 10, 12, 13, 17. Output dollars 19.99, 23.99, 25.99, and 33.98. Solution. The domain is a set of inputs, 10, 12, 13, and 17. The range is a set of outputs, 1999, 2399, 2599, and 3398. Remember, input is also your domain, and is also the x values. Output is the range, and is normally referred to as the y values. So, in other words, the output is dependent on the input. Mapping diagrams. A function may be represented by a mapping diagram. Notice that an output may be paired with more than one input, but no input is paired with more than one output. So in other words, notice input x value is 1, output y value 0, input 2 y1, input 3 output 2, input 4, output 2. Function rules. A function may be represented by using a rule that relates one variable to another. The input variable is called the independent variable. The output variable is called the dependent variable because its value depends on the value of the input variable. Key concept. Function. Verbal rule. The output is 3 more than the input. The equation for that, y is equal to x plus 3. Table, input, x values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. When you take the x values and plug them into the equation, you come up with the output values of 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Input, output, independent, dependent, domain, range. Example 3. Make a table for a function. The domain of the function y is equal to 2x is 0, 2, 5, 7, and 8. Make a table for the function. Then identify the range of the function. So making a table, we got our x and we got that y is equal to 2 times x. So we're going to use the values they gave us, 0, 2, 5, 7, and 8. We plug 0 into the equation and we come up with 2 times 0. 2 times 0 is 0. We plug 2 into the equation. 2 times x, now x is a 2. So we end up with 2 times 2, that's 4. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7, 14. And 2 times 8 is 16. So the range of the functions is going to end up being 0, 4, 10, 14, and 16. Example 4. Write a function rule. Write a rule for the function. 
input 0, 1, 4, 6, and 10. Output 2, 3, 6, 8, and 12. Another way of saying that is when x is 0, y is 2. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 4, y is 6. When x is 6, y is 8. And when x is 10, y is 12. Let x be the input. So this is our x value. Or the independent variable. And let y be the output. Output, this is our y. Or dependent variable. Notice that each output is two more than the corresponding input. So a rule for the function is y is equal to x plus 2. Notice if I said x was 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. If I said x were 1, 1 plus 2 would give me 3. If x were 4, 4 plus 2 would give me 6, and so on. Example 5. Write a function rule for a real-world situation. Write a function rule for a real-world situation. Concert tickets. You are buying concert tickets that cost $15 each. You can buy up to six tickets. Write the amount in dollars you spend as a function of the number of tickets you buy. Identify the independent and dependent variables. Then identify the domain and the range of the function. Solution. Write a verbal model. Then write a function rule. Let N represent the number of tickets purchased and A represent the amount spent in dollars. Amount spent, A. And that's going to equal to the cost per ticket, that was $15, times the number of tickets purchased. We don't know that, so we call that N. So the function rule is A is equal to 15 times N. The amount spent depends on the number of tickets bought. So N is the independent variable and A is the dependent variable. Because you can buy up to six tickets, the domain for the function is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Make a table to identify the range. Number of tickets, once again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Amount of dollars, if you purchase zero tickets, then it costs you zero amount of money. 15 times zero is zero. If you purchase one ticket, 15 times one will give you 15. If you purchase two tickets, 15 times two will give you 30, and so on. So the range of the function is 0, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90. Alright, and that concludes the assignment on section 1.7.